If you feel like you don't have time to do your makeup, this is the video for you. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know me, I'm Katie and I'm a mum of three and on this channel I share videos about finding you, finding your style and getting organised while you're at it. So I'd really love it if you subscribe, that way you get notified of new content and comment down below so I can get to know you. So as a mum of three I don't get a lot of time spare to do my face but it is very important that you do look after yourself and something that I find important to me is looking my best. So it doesn't mean that I go out with like a full face of makeup, but if I went out like this, for example, where my bags are on show and my skin just looks a little bit blotchy, I get redness around here, I just, I wouldn't feel my best, therefore I wouldn't come across as my best. I might like hide from people and, you know, I don't want to hide away. I don't, you know, not that I should be ashamed of how I look naturally, but for me personally, I want to present myself in the best possible way so that I feel confident. So over the last few years, I've perfected a very speedy makeup routine and I have shown that video in full before and I'll pop a link up top to that for you. But I thought I would focus today on the key things that I do that help me to look fresh. So yes, of course, I will do my eyebrows and things like that, but the main things that I think are critical to the look I'm going to share with you today. I must just say I have deliberately left my hair wet uh, because I'm letting it dry naturally today. I'm trying out the, because my hair is naturally curly. I haven't done that. I've been blow drying it up until now, but <laughs> I haven't got time. So I'm going to just uh, see how that goes. The first thing I do before I put any makeup on is do all my creams and lotions and potions and things. Um, so I moisture, I cleanse, I tone, I moisturize. But the thing that I think really helps everything sit nicely and just create that smooth, youthful look is my exfoliator brush. Um, I think this was from Aldi, I have a feeling. I'm sure it was. And it came with lots of different attachments like that. Um, so you can pick them up quite cheap, but they're really good for just really scrubbing off all that dead skin. Because me personally, I don't drink enough. I do not drink enough water. So I'm very dehydrated. So my skin often just looks really dull. Um, so this really helps to like revitalize, get the blood flowing back to my skin and exfoliate any dead skin off as well. So literally all I do is I just like dip that in water um, and then I just scrub away at my face. You could probably just do it dry but I just find it's, it's a little bit less rough uh, if, you, if you wet it slightly. So I do that all over. I wouldn't do it necessarily do it every day. I'd probably do it every other day. Um, but for me... I just find that makes a really big difference to my skin. So you can see how red it is. It's not red raw, it's literally just got the blood going to that. So once I've done that, I would do all of my creams and things like that before going on to the next key thing, which for me is um, a corrector under my eyes. I have no idea if other brands do this, so I'm going to show you the one that I use. So that is the Bobbi Brown Intensive Serum Corrector. It is basically is like a concealer but it's very it, well this it's a different color that you would use to your concealer so if I show you the difference between my concealer and the corrector so if you can see this is the corrector excuse my terrible nails this is the corrector very peachy for my skin tone and this is the concealer which obviously isn't the same color as my hand skin it's for my face um but you can see it's it's darker and it's peachier so what that does is correct the gray and the bags under my eyes so i put that under my eyes and i'll put on a little bit more I'll just do one eye actually, just so you can see. I use a brush, but if you are really in a rush, there we go, I'm a poet and I don't know it, you can just use your fingers to pop that on. And it, you can just see it lifts the eye. You know, bags just really drag your whole eye down. Whereas that has just lifted the eye area and just makes me look younger. I and mean, you can see, I can see it 
this looks like a really weirdly big eye <laughs> and this one um is a normal size so what i will do is i will catch it up to the other side and this even if you didn't put any concealer over the top you know if you're in a real rush i just find that this really just makes you look instantly better i mean it just makes you look less tired so so the brush makes your skin look more youthful because it just gives it a bit of a glow and it's smooth and then this makes you look less tired so even though we're dehydrated even though we don't get any sleep we can still look young and smooth so i would put concealer over the top but you know what if you're in a real big rush skip straight to foundation or a bb cream if you prefer a lighter coverage i prefer a bit of a fuller coverage because my skin just is blotchy and i've got this redness around my nose so i do just quickly if i haven't got time to use a brush i'll just quickly smooth it all over not forgetting your head and it's nice and smooth because you've exfoliated as quick as that and it just balances everything out so already i'm looking much fresher um so the next thing i would do is i would put powder on but again you can just skip that like the foundation it's made you look smooth and covered and it you know it really you don't have to it's not you know if you just want to look human for the school run that is all you need to do so the final thing that for me makes a real difference is doing the eyes now before you think oh my god i'm not going out the house with a full-on eyeliner no nor do i nobody's you know we're not going to a disco in 1990 so what i learned recently is that you know obviously if you're you actually are young fine get away with black eyeliner or whatever but as you get older it just doesn't it's not flattering to have real thick probably isn't flattering when you're younger to be to be fair i'm just going to come a little bit closer to show you what i do so i have my eye shadow palette and i'm going to choose the light medium brown with a with a small headed brush I'm going to use that to line the underside of my eye not all the way along i'm not going to go right into the corner i'm just going to take it sort of two thirds the way along and then I'll do the same on the top, but just a little bit, you know, I'll take it everywhere just like that and blend it with my, my finger. And it just frames your eyes in a more natural way than black. Then I will use just a slightly bigger brush just to bring it all together a little bit more like that. It just means that your eyes are framed, brings out the colour of your eyes as well and just makes you look at that little bit more put together than just completely whitewashed with all of the foundation. If I haven't got any more time, that's all I'll do. So I've smoothed myself out, got rid of my bags and I've framed my eyes and that really will just be enough. But the last thing to do really is to just put a little bit of blusher on um, because it just makes you look a little bit more healthy and that is that so if you've been thinking i don't have the time to do my makeup all you need is five minutes you just need to exfoliate your face to give it a smooth hydrated look you need some corrector or you could even just get a concealer but just in a, a peachier color um or uh, it depends on your skin color completely of course uh, just a slightly different color just to balance that out and if you go to any counter they'd probably be able to tell you um but yeah bobby brown specifically do a corrector uh, just to balance out those eye bags and then using eye shadow instead of eyeliner to line your eyes just gives you a more natural look and then some blusher to make you look nice and cheery and you're done and it really only takes that 
littler time. So now when I leave the house, I'm going to leave the house feeling put together and hopefully my hair will dry looking beautiful. Um, and I will feel more confident to be able to speak to people without them looking at me or me feeling as though they're looking at me going, oh my God, she looks terrible, which really nobody does notice. So it's not the end of the world if you don't. But for me, for my confidence and my, and just for my own self-worth, I like doing my makeup. I hope you found that useful. I will be back next week with another upload. See you then.